Uh, this is the program brought to you by Life Givers Christian Center. E program is Jambojima and Amurijesguaho, Nitori Life Givers Christian Center. And you are following Pastor Jory Murenzi. Kandi wa mkulichila nye ni Pastor Jory Murenzi. Uh, with uh, Francis. Hamge nanje Francis. Amen. Thank you so much. Trabashimye chan. Amen. Uh, I am sharing on the topic which says how to advance in your life. How to advance in your life? Life is all about advancing. Life is all about advancing. Life is not static. Life is a progressive. So we are sharing with you. How can you move from one level to another level? How can you reach the, the tomorrow you are dreaming about? How can you have your dream life? Each one of us we have something we dream in our hearts. We have promises. We have visions. We are saying how can we reach? Sometimes we look at other people who are trying to make it in life and we begin to admire them or we compare our lives with them or we begin to blame ourselves. But I believe when you learn life principles that are based in God's word. You know, you should always desire to learn. Because learning brings right information in your life. Especially when you listen to God's word and you get his principles through his word. Uh, last uh, uh, last time when was sh- uh, when I was sharing with you uh, we, uh, we shared in the book of Deuteronomy the Bible. And this is where you want us to go. Deuteronomy chapter 1. Uh, we read it from verse 6 to 8. And also we are going to read it from verse 2. 26 to 32. Why am I taking you into the Bible? Because the Bible is God's word and it has life of principles which you can apply in your life and your life goes to another level which you are dreaming about. So uh, from verse 6 it says the Lord our God is said to us at Holebo this is a story of children of Israelites on their journey to promised land remember they were going to a land that God had promised them and God was willing to take them to the promised land because God will never start a work I cannot complete anything he begins in your life if there is any good thing God has ever spoken to you don't allow that promise to die because God's desire is to make that promise to come to pass so you need to learn how to 
to, to walk with God in this journey so that the every promise has been spoken over your life can be fulfilled. Ni byiza ko wiga kugenda na n'Imana kugira ngo buri sezano ryo simana yakuvuzeho urishobore gukunda kandi risohore. So this is God and I was speaking to his people. Aha n'Imana iri miravugana n'abantu bawe. He said you have stayed long enough at this mountain. Iri miravuga ngo mwatinze mwamaze igihe kinini cyane kuri uyu musozi. When the children of Israelites igihe abana ba Israel we are on their journey to the promised land. Bari bari mu rugendo bajya mu gihugu cy'Isezerano. They reached somewhere. Haraho bageze before they arrived to the promised land. Mere yuko bagera mu cyo gihugu cy'Isezerano. They reached the mountain Horeb. Bagera ku musozi wi Horeb. And they decided to stay there. Bahitamo kuha guma kuha kambika. They became stuck. Bagumaho byabayobeye. They didn't continue in the journey that they were taking. Ni bashobora gukomeza mu rwa rugendo bari bari mu kuganamo. And God is saying you have stayed long enough at this mountain. Imana yabwiye iti dore mutinze igihe kinini mumaze igihe kinini hano kuri uyu musozi. Break camp and advance into the hill country of Amorites. Ni muhindukire muhaguruke mujye mu gihugu cy'imisozi y'abamori. Go to all neighboring peoples. Nahandi hantu hose hahagose hegeranye naho. I want you to see this scenario. Ndagira ngo murebe aha hantu kuno hari hameze. These are the people of God. Aba na abantu b'Imana turi God had already spoken to them that they have to take the journey and he's going to be with them and they're going to reach the promised land. They have reached somewhere in the middle of the in the middle of the journey. They haven't arrived at their destination, but they have decided to sit down and to be in one place. Ariko ndora anga turimo kuvuga bari bageze hagati mu rugendo bataragera aho bagomba kugera barangije barakambika baturiza aho ngaho badasohoye aho basabwa kugera. And this is what happens to many of us. Ibi rero nibyo bikunda kuba kuri benshi muri twe. Sure we are Christians. Nukuri koko turaba Christians. We love God. Dukunda Imana. We have his word in us. Dufite ijambo ryayo. We know what he has promised us. Dufite icyo yadusezeranye turakizi. But somewhere somewhere. Ariko ahantu hamwe na hamwe we are stuck in life and we are not progressing spiritually we are not pro progressing physically we are not progressing in our lives and that one brings a, a big question mark to us we cry to God we say where are you God where are you, where are you not not working in my life. Why are you keeping quiet? But yet God wants you to progress. He wants you to move forward. He wants you to understand because I shared uh, seven principles. I said seven principles for you to take as a child of God so that you can move from one place to another place. Number one, I shared it. I said you have to be responsible for your own life. Take a hundred percent about your life. Be responsible for your life. Because when God came to his, to his people, he said break, break camp and advance into the hill country of the Amorites. In other words, they were afraid of breaking from the camp. They never wanted to take the responsibility. Like many of us, we are afraid of many things in our lives. And because of that, we fail to take responsibility of what we are supposed to do so that God can back our steps. You know when you 
don't take a responsibility in your life. Even salvation. I have heard many people say, I want to get saved. Pray for me, Pastor. I want to get saved. But I'm asking you, why can't you get saved? Salvation is taking the responsibility of receiving Jesus Christ in your life. So the children of Israelites they never wanted to move forward because of the fear they had they never wanted to take responsibility you know, God moves with those ones who are moving when you take a step by faith what are you afraid of doing? Where are you afraid of going? Why do you pray and keep yourself in one position? I have seen most people who are very poor in life. Are those ones who keep themselves in the prayer rooms and they cannot come out. They ask God for blessings but they don't take responsibility of moving out to look for a job and to ask God to enable them to do those jobs. Faith is about actions we take by yeah, when we are believing in God. Faith is about risking but knowing that God is behind you because you prayed and you believe his word. But we don't want to take the risk. I want to share with you point number two. The, to have a clear vision for your life. Have a clear vision for your life. You know you must know that you are an individual. You must know that God knows you as an individual. No matter how how you feel or how you see your life in this stuff. Even when you had to be one person on the planet earth. Jesus could have died for your life. That's how much God knows you and God cares for you. So when he said to have a clear vision for our life we fail to move forward in life what, what do I mean by having a vision you know the eyes that uh, the eyes that look are common but the eyes that you see are uncommon your heart must see these, uh, these physical eyes we have they just see in the realm of the physical these physical eyes we have they only see limitations but the eyes of the hearts the heart that is full of God is word oh. the heart that believes in God that heart can have a vision and it can see things that nobody else can see and this is why 
every one of you who is watching this uh, this uh, the, the, this message niyo mavu buri muntu wese urimo gukurikirana iyi televiziyo yumva ubutumwa every one who will watch this message over the over the youtube or facebook na buri wese uri gukurikirana ubutumwa yewe kuri facebook no kuri youtube you have to know that you need jesus in your hearts ugomba kumenya ko ukeneye yesu akaza mu buzima bwa because when jesus is in you kuko iyo yesu ari muri wowe and you allow his word to be in your heart ukemera ku jambo rye riba muri wowe kandi ryuzuye and you have the word of god in you ijambo ry'imana ukaburi fite the word of god will be the face in you iyo jambo ufite muri wowe rizubaka kwizera muri wowe and the face in you will cause your heart to see kandi kwizera ufite muri wowe kuzatuma noneho ubona bireze it will cause your heart to have a vision bizatuma umutima wa ugira icyerekezo kizima the difference the, the difference that was between David and his brothers itandukano rya ri hagati ya David na Benese why did David why was David able to kill the giant ese kuki David we yashoboye kwica igihango why was David able to kill Goliath those of you who know the bible you know what i'm talking about kuki David yashoboye kwica igihango ya Goliath mwebwe basoma bibilia murabizi byo mvuga why didn't his brothers who are older than him who are experienced you know in the forces of king Saul could not dare stand before the giants ese kuki bakuru ba Dawidi bari abu nabandi bakuru bari bamenyere intambara kuki atari bo bashoboye guhangana na na no mu Philistia Goliath but only David the smallest boy ariko Dawidi gusa umuhungu mutoya the younger man when he looked at Goliath he didn't use his own physical eyes but he used the eyes of his heart the eyes that are full of face the eyes that believes in god the eyes of the heart that can see which the physical eyes cannot see this is the problem the people of israelites had god was telling them to advance and attack you know the neighboring countries that god had already given them imana yarimo kubabwira ngo ni muhaguruke windure mutere ntambwe mugende mutere ibihugu namahanga agose bamori agose umusozi wi Horeb aho nayo yarawemereye kujya gutera verse 8 god told them murongo wa 8 imana irababwiye he said see irababwiye ati dore see dore in other words god began with the word see yani magambo imana yatanya ni jambo ngo dore mubone he's telling them have a vision irababwira mu yani magambo mugire icyerekezo mugire have a vision mugire yerekwa let your heart see what i have for you ne ku mutima wanyu ushobora kubona icyo mbafitiye are you sick in your body esu rarwaye mu mubiri wa see the healing that is already for you denza mas yo ngwara wahasaga ubone yuko Already there is your hearing in God is what God desires to hear you the Bible says by the stripes of Jesus we are healed but you cannot be healed before you see your healing you know the eyes of our hearts as believers they must open they must see amaso yacu y'umutima nkabizera agomba gufunguka akareba birenze imuta zituri imbere we must have the same vision that our father in heaven has for us tugomba kwemera tukagiriye kwa rimwe n'iryo papa data wo mwijuru afite because our god is a big god kuko imana yacu irahamba oh this is why i believe in him yo mavu mwizereramo he's a loving god ni imana idukunda this word is true iri jambo mubona he can change your situation ishobora guhindura imibereho yawe kwisa ko he can transform your life you, can, you may be saying how can he do it god is all powerful he is omnipotent god he is omniscient god he has been existing ever since many will end
end life from here everyone dies people die every day ha. generations come and depress as a generation great people die small people die poor people die but God remains the same so he is God who is willing to get hold of your hand and help you to move forward so see yourself in the image of God see yourself the way the word of God speaks about you Jesus is your healer he heals any kind of sickness and disease he delivers us from all impossible situations of our lives but God desires us first of all to have a clear vision for where he wants to take us so he said see I have given you this land I have given you this land but you cannot possess this land before you see it you cannot possess that job before you see it in the spirit before you, you have it in your heart let us read our bibles and our bibles will direct us and they will show us how we can have our victory and our breakthrough in God. What do you see now? On your sick bed. What are you seeing my sister? What are you seeing my brother? What are you seeing papa? What are you seeing mama? And yet you are a Christian. You are a believer. Do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe that God can do anything for your life? See it with your hearts. Have the word of God deep in your hearts. We are not just supposed to hear the word of God with our ears and it just passes by. When we hear his word, we must allow it completely to go down in our hearts. God has never failed us. We are the one who have failed him. Because we don't trust him that we should trust him. So he spoke to his people, see I have already given you this land. And God said, go in and take possession of the land the Lord is so he would give you to your fathers to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and to their descendants after their dore igihugu nyibashize imbere ni mukijemo mugihindure igihugu witeka yarahiriye base gukuruza abanyu Abraham na Isaac na Yakobo ko azabaha ndetse ko n'urubyaro rwabo ruzabakurikira amen this is what you need now to understand how does god work his, his, with his people how does God work with you? It's when you believe his word. It's when you take your step. Move from that bed. Move from that house. Go forward in life. See yourself before anything happens in your life. See it happening before it. Do not face sees far. Face sees the victory before the victory comes. It's not just being a Christian and going to church. But you need to develop the faith that comes in you because you have the word of God in your life. 
Endura. If God says, see, I have done it for you. See, I am with you. Do not fear. I am with you. So move on. Rise up with the confidence. See where you are going. You are, you, you are tomorrow. Will be greater than you are today. But when you, your eyes of the heart cannot conceive that, cannot see that, you will train your future for today. You today you may be suffering you may have no job you have no money things are hard for you but tomorrow when you believe God is one when you hold on him when you trust his name oh, leave alone what people say but God is true to his people God is true to those ones who believe in his name leave alone those ones who abuse his name who say all kinds of of evil who say there is no God if there is no God who gives them the breeze of life who wants to leave this world who wants to leave and die if there is no God and they live because of their own strengths they can they stop death that is shows you that there is power there is divine power there is supernatural power behind every thing on this earth that man cannot control you need to trust in Jesus you need to believe in his word I'm calling you you know when we go to verse uh, 20 26 God spoke about the rebellious of his people he said you were unwilling to go up you rebel against the command of the Lord your God. You know when you are unwilling to do what God is asking you to, to do by faith. Even if you claim that you are afraid, you are fearful, you, you are not sure of what you are going to do, but if you know that the word of God encourages you and tells you you can do this you can rise up you can be blessed by God you can be here but you are unwilling to receive that God calls it rebellion before his presence you can advance in life you can move forward Number one, take a hundred percent responsibility over everything that is happening in your life. That means you are going to stop blaming people. Blaming. I don't know whether no kurenganya. Braming is, you know, to say I couldn't be like this mm. if it has not been so and so. Uh -huh. You know, stop complaining. Stop looking at your enemies. You will never stop people from hating you. The same way you cannot stop the one who wants to love you. So, leave alone your enemies. People are here to hate and to love. But don't mind about people. <laughs> so you work on your life. 
change hinduka change the character hindura imiterere be a good person bumuntu muzima change that that bad character hinduka urekera mu izo ngeso niyo change your bibi. bad habits rekera ngo izo ngeso mbi you know mm. rise up in jesus name haguruka mu izina bya yesu take responsibility fatishinga no you are marriage can it change when you take responsibility urushako rwahawe rwahinduka ruzwiza ruzima igihe cyose ufashishinga but the moment you say oh things could have been better but i have a bad man nothing will ever change in your marriage ariko igihe cyose uhora uvuga ngo ibintu bya kawe bimereye neza ariko mfite umugabo mubi reka nkubwire wa urushako rwahinduka and you will live a miserable life bicyo rero bituma kubera kwitotomba ubaho ubuzima bwubwi wihebye ubabaye ufite gahinda are you getting what i'm saying ibyo mvugura byumva shuti number 2 icya kabiri have a a vision of where you are going jira icherekezo kizima gikwiye cyahuri and your vision must be good kandi yero kwa ryawe ligomba kuba ari your vision must be agreeing with what god says about your life ligomba kuba ari hamanya n'iki imana ivuga ku buzima bwa david looked at at gorias david yitegereje goliath he said i'm going to kill you and i will cut your head off your head aravuga ati ngiye kukwica nitaye ku buhanga nge bwawe hanyu mu mutwa wawe mubagire ibisimba be positive about your vision because when god is behind you even if no one else is behind you you will make it in this life god is so good this is why i serve him with all my heart and i have never regretted for having given my life to jesus if you can receive Jesus in your life and you come to a good church where they teach the word of God and you discover the riches in your life and you discover how God loves you and you understand that you are not alone even if you don't have parents even if you don't have sisters and brothers oh God God has many sisters and brothers for your life. Imani fite urubyaro rwinshi rwawe ifite abavandimwe bawe benshi. You can make it in a life. Birashoboka cyane nawe ko byagukundira. Can you allow me to pray with you? Ese wacha bugufu kanyemerera nka gusengera. I know you may be having issues in your life. Nabizo ushobora kubahura ngo ufite ibibazo byinshi. Sometimes you don't have anybody to share with your problems. Nimwe narimwe ntabwo ufite umuntu numwe wasangiza ibibazo ufite. But there is God who cares for you. Ariko hari imana ikwitayeho ko ushobora with you if you can stretch your hands towards the screen i'm going to pray for you and there is a miracle that is going to take place in your life in jesus name god is going to encourage you you're going to have the peace in your heart i love the scripture in the bible which says that everyone that is born of god it says whatever is born of god it overcomes the world i see you overcoming your situation i see you overcoming that condition you are in i see you overcoming your temptations i see see you breast in life let us pray together heavenly father thank you for your people those ones who are watching this program i pray for them in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ heavenly father in the name of jesus i want you to hear those ones who are sick in their bodies let there be miracles right now in the name of jesus I command every sickness every disease in your body every infirmity in that body in the mighty name of Jesus I command it to die and I uproot it from roots and I release the healing of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus I release healing in your body let the pain go in the name of Jesus I pray for you 
you. I encourage you. I speak the peace of God in your situation. I speak the victory over every condition of your life. I'm praying for you to have a testimony. And you are going to have a testimony in your life. You are going to serve God. You will stand before the congregations of his people and he will testify that the Lord our God is a faithful father. He's a good God. Thank you Heavenly Father for healing those ones who are sick and for delivering your people from every bondage from every spirit that are oppressing their lives. I speak your joy and the victory in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for being with us. I want also to invite you to come in the house of God. You can visit our church. LOGCC or life givers. Life givers Christian we are, we, we, our church is here in Kigari city. Just in the city center. Mm -hmm. So um, I want to give you my number. So that you can call us. And we can direct you. Where our church is. 07 86 60 90 50 07 80 90 50 60 90 50 you can also send your prayer request every Wednesday I receive people for counseling you need counseling you need somebody to listen to you and to pray with you I'm there to help you God has given us for freely for freely God has given us for freely and we give for free. We don't ask any money. Just our desire is to see Christ in your life. I love you. Our service begins at nine. Our church is here in Nyarujenje district. Jitega sector. Um, uh, uh, Kora Kora. Please, you are welcome. You have been watching Pastor Jory Murenzi uh, with my interpreter Francis. God bless you. Shalom. 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 Amen. Amen.